All right, let's get into some. Uh, we got quite a few fan questions. So these are these are these are from the, the New York Knicks uh, Twitter and Instagram community. New York uh, NBA underscore New York. How does it feel? Uh, how does it feel being the greatest NBA podcaster of all time? How, how does that feel, Mitch? I don't do that anymore. I think I'm about you guys. But mine was pretty cool, though. The block party. Yeah, bro. Why did, why did they stop it, bro? I don't know, honestly. It just, like, died down. Like, we would do it. Like, it was, like, my, what, second year? Second, third year? So, we was doing it, like, heavy. But then, like, at some point, we just, early the summer came, and then, like, it just died out. Like, so, kind of just gave that up. Maybe trying to get me to go back into doing it. I'm just like, maybe. Maybe not. Cool. So King Lenny underscore Mitch, since you're the longest tenured Nick, who is your favorite teammate to play with or just be around? Uh, I'd say Todd. Like, Todd, it, it was kind of tough because, you know, Todd and D Rose was like, yeah, that's a tough one. So, like, it's out of them, too. I mean, you guys are great, too, but. Yeah, I was just, like, you know, you guys are cool, too, with this kind of like an after thought. It would have been nice for you to. Yeah, it would have been would have been nice for you to just say us just outright, but I mean, yeah, you know, look at the question. Fine. Yeah. It's fine, you know. What I mean? We're just not, you know, those kind of teammates, I guess. I said you guys are great too. Well, Jalen, you are. <laughs> Josh is just. Mitch, I feel, I feel like every time, like, you know, you you come in the room and I'm there, like. You always, we always like smile. You're always like, "Hey, man, Josh, my favorite teammate. How are you? How are you today?" Sometimes. Respect. I think that kind of went away when you tried to park your your truck next to mine. <laughs> you know, JB, just in case you know, I didn't know Mitch. Mitch has the like the uh, the Lambo door, the butterfly doors, right? He got the Lambo. No, he has he has the Lambo door, the butterfly doors. He probably does have a Lambo, honestly. He got money. Um but uh so there was one time I don't know why I was just in a playing mood. So I literally parked right next to him, like like literally right next to him to the point where like he wasn't gonna be able to get into his car. And then <laughs> and then the dude just he leaves, like he just he dis he, like he's gone, he left. And then the next day, I'm like, yo, Mitch, like, like, how'd you get to your car? He's like, yeah, man. See, I knew you were, you were over there on that BS, man. My doors go up. <laughs> so his, he ain't have to open the door to do anything. He just, his door went up and he just went in his car. You know how disappointing that was for me? I really thought like, oh, you know, this is a funny thing to do. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> just wasn't. <sighs> yeah. He- I was actually really disappointed. <laughs> Brooklyn girl, Brooklyn underscore girl, 16. Um, what do you like to do when basketball season ends? Go fishing, go to truck shows, um, hang with the fam, and get in my pool, really. You going to any country concerts yet? Or no. Nah? I mean, I went to the one in, at MetLife, the Mungawa one. That was cool. Alan Houston came to it. How was that, bro? I feel like that was... I feel like that would have been fire. Yeah, it was. it was. It was fun, you know, great time, great vibes. Y'all should come next time. Mitch, have you um, seen any live music on Broadway yet in Nashville? They had some people there, but, like, people I didn't know. It's a lot of, like, mm-hmm. up and coming, like, people who are trying to make it. I know Tuck Whitmer will be out there a lot. My dog, Tuck? <laughs> yeah, your dog, Tuck. That's, that's my dude, man. Him and all, I, uh, have you, have you, you've heard all four of his songs, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. Did you? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. All bangers. Triple M, what's up? <laughs> Says, do you ever look at Melo when he at the games and laugh and be like, Nick's won the trade because they drafted me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Are you, you were, you were part of that trade? No. That was I, just like I, the... I, no, I think... One of the picks? The picks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was like... Uh, hey, man, the Knicks won that trade. Let's see. 
If they didn't make that trade, no Melo, no Mitch, no Mitch's block party. I'm pretty sure the Melo trade was to get Mitch, and Melo was gone at that point, if I'm not mistaken. Mitch, who is the coach? Who is the coach your first year on the Knicks? Was it yeah, Fizz? Fizz, yeah. At SG two one two MSG. If Josh was your height, who would be a better rebounder? Me. That's not even a question. Not, not even yeah, a question. me. Not Josh don't get offensive rebounds like me. That no, no. the defensive ones would be he get those I would say because me. like you know I box out for the most part. So like you know other teams really don't rebound like that. They might have that one hustle guy like Josh on their team, but like usually, you know, a real a real nigga like me just box him out. So I w- I would say that I was always sending him like, yeah, I'm the better rebounder. I'm the best rebounder on the team. And I think it was probably like after like fifteen games, and Mitch had like like sixty five offensive rebounds. I was like, you know what? Oh, you know what? Mitch, Mitch might, Mitch might have it. But if I was seven foot, oh man, I for sure would be a better rebounder. I don't think so. You're not that strong. I'm you know pretty how, strong. Like I usually just like kind of give you like that and kind of like like kind of fly. Um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, you just <laughs> need to spend a little more time in that weight room, my boy. <laughs> Josh, Josh, okay. it's respect. your room. <laughs> yeah, respect. I felt like I was. I'm, I'm, I felt like I was pretty strong. Yeah, I mean, you know, kind of. Always, always having to guard all. I, uh, you know, having to be a power forward and guard all the, you know, these big guys. You know, I felt like I did a good job, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, woo. Mitch, where would you uh, rank yourself as an offensive rebounder in the league? One, mm. number one. I like that answer. Mm. I like that answer. I get offense rebound with one foot. <laughs> size, size twelve and a half. Fourteen, man. Fifteen in game shoes. Relax. I'm just. Look, I'm looking at off. I'm looking at the yeah, this regular season offensive rebounding. Okay, you keep looking at that. Well, at Super Duper MF, I got to know, what's the top song in place right now? Right now is um, High Road. Y'all, y'all don't know. I'm pretty sure y'all don't know what song that is because of this country. Mm-hmm. But it's by Cole Wessel. That shit fire. Oh, Cole Wessel and Jesse yeah. Murph, right? Yeah, I'm sleep. Shit, yeah, okay, yeah, Josh. Yeah, yeah. You've been on <laughs> What can yeah, I Josh say, bro? You know what I mean? Josh's been on. That's crazy. Hey, watch your mouth. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. No, you know what? This is good. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> We're moving That's on. Awesome. That's the last question. Good. Yeah.